Today on Try This at Home, we're going to be installing DDWRT on the Belkin Play HD, which is the F7D4301 or F7D8301, I believe. So, our first step, um, regardless of whether it's a new router or a used router, it's always a good idea to do a 30 30 30 reset. That way, everything is cleared, all the settings, it's back to factory settings, guaranteed. So this is the way that you'll kind of surefire make sure it's going to work, not going to brick your router. So you're going to need something little to push the reset button with. The reset button is just above the power, and the power is here. You'll need to know where both of those are, as you'll see. So basically, push in the reset button. Hold it down for 30 seconds. So count to 30. So that's 30. Now what you're going to do is unplug the power while continuing to hold your reset button down. Now count to 30 again. Okay, so that's 30 again. Now plug your power back in, still holding your reset button down. Count to 30 again. Now you can release your reset button, plug in your Ethernet cable, and head to your computer. Okay, so over on our computer at 192.168.2.1, we have the Belkin firmware. Now everything has been reset because we did the 303030 reset. So Go to firmware update, and now it says blah blah blah, basically leave it blank because you've reset everything. Click submit. So once you get here, click choose file, then select your mini build. Now note that this does not have a device name after or anything, it is just K2.6 mini. That's it. So open that up, click update, it says you want to continue with upgrading and may not respond for a minute or more, click OK. And now wait. Okay, so now that it's finished upgrading, it comes up unable to connect to the internet. That's because we're pointed at the wrong IP now. DDWRT uses 192.168.1.1. So, still give it a couple minutes because it may take a while to actually boot up, but you can give it a try. If it doesn't come up, give it a little bit longer. Now you're in DDWRT, so change your passwords. You're on the mini build, but you can upgrade to a newer build. You can do pretty much anything that's in any of our uh, videos on DDWRT. So once you've changed your password and log in, you can see it shows two wireless LANs. One is for 2.4 gigahertz, one is for 5 gigahertz, because this is a um, dual band router. So. There you go. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Hope you enjoyed watching.